luck. A monarch found his voice. A dancer lost her grip. And a hiker lost his arm, literally, in some of the best films of the past year. The award season is now upon us, which means they're all about to go to, it's about to go head to head to head uh, at everything from the Oscars to the BAFTAs. But it all begins on Sunday with the Golden Globes. Here to give us predictions ahead of the ceremony, please welcome Alex Zane. <laughs> Women, hello, 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 how are you? Yeah. Yep. Pale and interesting. See, they all need treating like a child. She's coming all fluff all over you. Are Thanks, you deliberately yeah. pale and interesting? Is that the look that you like or is that just the look that you can't do anything about? No, it's a combination of smoking, drinking and irritable bowel syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks yeah. for yeah. sharing that. But works. What I tend to do is I tend to sunbathe with a pig under each arm. <laughs> so... A useful flotation aid yeah. if you ever fell overboard. Absolutely, yes. absolutely. I always yes. take a pig with me on a cruise. <laughs> <laughs> so, the Golden Globes, obviously, they're, they're on Sunday. Yeah, 11.30, Living HD. Yeah, it's going to be a great show. <laughs> there you go. So, what, um, is it uh, Angela Griffin's going to be hosting the L.A. part of yeah, it? Yeah, Angela Griffin drew the short straw and uh, <laughs> flies out to L.A. to talk to the stars on the red carpet in the sunshine. I'm on an industrial estate in Isleworth. <laughs> uh, cool. But that said, it's going, to be a, it's going to be a great show. I love the Globes. I think the Globes are far more exciting than the Oscars in terms of uh -huh. sort of the drama and the gossip and the mm. stories and everything you want from an award show. Is it because it's the first one? Do you think that's why they managed to get in there first? I think it's the first one. I think because Ricky's doing it again, yeah. Ricky Gervais is doing it again for a, a yeah. second time, I, th I think he was absolutely brilliant last year. So oh, I think yeah. he sort of adds that kind of... That kind of earthy humour, it's, it's not yeah. too pompous mm. and it, it, you know, and he's a Brit as well. So yeah. it's the best motion picture drama that we're looking at. What is mm. your prediction? Come on. It, well, it's, it's both my prediction and my hope that the King's Speech gets this it. This is Colin Firth. It's oh. absolutely, uh, honestly, ev seen, even, if, even if you don't like yeah. period dramas, yeah. if they sort of make you go, oh, yeah. it's, it's, well, well, if you do, give you a wee, Let's give you a wee taster, if you guys haven't seen it. Let's have a look. My husband is, um... Well, he's required to speak publicly. I have a seat. Perhaps he should change jobs. He can't. And what of my husband with the Duke of York? Forgive me, your... Royal Highness. R Royal Highness. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. Yeah. And is Helen Bonham Carter, is she up for an award as well? Helena Bonham Carter's up for an award, Colin Firth as well. I mean, Helena Bonham Carter, I love. I mean, I just, mm. I think she's fantastic. And so often you see her in these roles that are kind Crazy of... Crazy roles, Right, yeah. OK, kind of kooky with kind yeah. of, like, ticks and stuff and, like, Bellatrix Lestrange yeah. and Harry Potter. But in this, she just... Just, just proves what a fantastic actress she is. Do you think Colin Firth can do it? Can he win the best actor? I hope so. I mean, based on last year's A Single Man, uh, which he was up for yeah. the, the Oscar mm. for, and uh, it didn't win, and this, I think, yeah, I think, I think he can. It's mm. just, it's just an astonishingly amazing. I can't praise him enough. I'm going to start gushing, but he's oh. brilliant. But well, is what, it, so, is it going to be a Brit year mm. then? Uh, do you think? Well, I don't think we picked up a single award last Did we year. Know? Yeah, I know. So I and think... you're up against we're up against some pretty tough films. Inception is another one. That Inception. Is yeah. I it's um uh, This is Leonardo DiCaprio, isn't it? It is. And it uh, I, I will say this outright. It was my favorite film of 2010. It was not. Right. It Did you was. get it? I didn't. Could you get it? Oh. A lot of people no. sort of say like That's me at the titles. <laughs> right. Well, let, again, Alex, let's have, let's have him. a little little look for those who haven't seen it. A single idea from the human mind can build cities. An idea can transform the world and rewrite all the rules. Which is why I have to steal it. I don't. Uh, it's something about dreams or something. I've not seen dreams it yet. Dreams in a dream. Uh, it's a song, really? Song, something about dreams. It is. You it, said you didn't get it. That no, is what it's that's about. That's the only bit I got. Okay. <laughs> I right. didn't know what it was about. I knew it was a dream within a dream. I don't think you could. You, I was tired when I went. Perhaps not a good idea. Mm, yeah. No. It's no. A bit sleepy. I dropped off a few times. That didn't help. <laughs> yeah. You really. It's a, it's a film, uh, as with many films, that you need to actually watch. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it 
DiCaprio up for an award himself? Uh, I don't think he is. I no. think he's turned into one of the most brilliant I actors. Love him, yeah. He has. He that has. combined with Shutter Island. I don't yeah. know if you saw that Loved last year. That. Wasn't that good? Oh, that was great. That was there's there's some fa fabulous films that uh, that are uh, that are out there at the moment. One one of which as one of my favourite actresses in um, Natalie Portman, mm. Black Swan. Black Swan. What, what's what's your take on this? How do you think she's going to do? Um, it's not actually out here yet, but I would advise people to go and see it. It's brilliant. Mm. I mean, I think Natalie Portman is is fantastic and. Darren Aronofsky's the director. He's done some great films like Requiem for a Dream. Yeah. And, um, and he did The Wrestler. And, he, you know, he, what he brings... What a stark contrast between the two. I, I, well, yeah, but, I mean, in the sense that he can take a great actor and, or actress and, and turn an award-winning performance from them. I mean, he mm. did it for Mickey Rourke, although he didn't pick up the Oscar, but yeah. this is Natalie Portman at her best. And, I mean, she's fantastic most of the time, but this yeah. is astonishing. What, what about 127 Hours? Yeah, Danny Boyle. Um, he just, it's not, I don't think the film itself is up for an award. But, best, uh, best screenplay, I think it is. Right, yeah. Mm. It's, um, it's as, you, as you said at the start, it's the story of this guy who, uh, mm. who removes his arm after becoming trapped by a boulder. Mm. And that scene d is d tough but to But can it, can it hold its own? Because essentially you're going to see it knowing what happens at the end. How can, it, how can a director or a screenwriter hold your interest when you already know what's going to happen? And that's why it's such an achievement, exactly that point, because mm. it's, it, it is a one-man show. And James Franco, who's up for an award, is, is fantastic <laughs> in it. I mean, mm. because you are watching a man in a ditch for really? an hour and a half yeah. and yeah. yet you can't take your eyes off it yeah. it's it's great what what are you really really hoping for at the golden awards if you could, if you golden globe awards if you could have any one wish for any award what would it be uh, for me yeah. uh, probably best person covering the awards from an industrial <laughs> state <laughs> in no i who would you really want to win who are you really going for for me it's got to be the king's speech the uh -huh. king's speech all the way this year Good, good. And, um, you, you know, we were talking earlier about star charts and this sort of thing. Are you mm. in a relationship at the moment? I am, yes. Have yeah. you got a little chart in the fridge? I don't have a chart, but uh, when we go out for a walk, my girlfriend puts me on reins. Oh, you know, nice. so. Are you dangerous near roads? That yeah, kind I, of do, thing. I get excited. So you get your little treat at the end of the day, don't you, Alex? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I think, it's, I think it's interesting, although yeah. I think if you turn a man into a child, then the man should just be a child. You can't have a child cooking. Cleaning, yeah. doing it. 